Do you agree with me that there should not be a religious test in the United States? I, I, don't, I, I need to, to know more specific. Well, let me give you an example. Should there be a religious test to serve in the military? Oh, Senator, um, that, would, that would be inappropriate, yes. That, that's against the law. That's against the law. Or uh, in, um, well, of course, we go right back to the question, do we ban people based on, solely on their religion, solely on their religion? Senator, we uh, have the religious... Not, not whether they form a threat or something, but you ban somebody solely on their religion. Senator, we have not just the First Amendment free exercise clause in this country very important protection. We have not just the equal protection guarantee of the 14th Amendment, which prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, gender, ethnicity. We also have the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, as Senator Hatch mentioned, which was a bipartisan bill passed by this body with support of Senator Kennedy and Senator Schumer when he was in the House. And that imposes an even higher standard on the government than the First Amendment when it comes to religious discrimination. It says that there, if there's any sincerely held religious belief, well, earnestly held religious belief, the government must meet strict scrutiny before it may regulate on that basis. Well, the, strict scrutiny being the highest standard known in American law. Well, the reason I ask these questions, there is a legitimate concern. 